Hello there, Geminis. Welcome. So I want to start off by wishing you all a very happy birthday. Um, I hope you have an amazing time celebrating as well as, you know, staying safe overall. Okay. Um, the, the first message that I have coming out here is, um, I feel like this is going to be a hit the ground running type of a month for you. There's a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things that I feel you are single handedly pushing to advance forward and to move ahead. And uh, what I feel it, that the energy that comes through in conjunction to that as well is whether or not you are able to delegate responsibilities efficiently, whether or not you're able to let other people help you. And I also feel that there might have been, you know, within the past few months, um, I would say within the past four months, um, there were quite a few partnerships, deals, and that were struck, right? Like you, you signed contracts with people and you had like uh, either verbal or written agreements with people. And you might realize that people are not pulling their weight. And so I feel the energy for this month here is that you are single-handedly holding people accountable and pushing for those projects, those um, things so that they start gaining momentum and traction. And so I feel like there's a lot of different avenues that um, that your energy will be siphoned towards this month, which denotes overall a very busy month that's going to be uh, ahead for you. The second message that I have here is um, there are going to be, you know, a lot of um, interaction overall with people. And I feel like, you know, people high up, people who are in positions of authority, people as well that have a lot of sway, like a, a lot of uh, sway over how projects are going to come into the picture, whether how things are going to work out and such. And um, because of that, it's really important for us to really think about, you know, what are we trying to achieve here? Are we trying to achieve um, a specific goal, mainly because, you know, we're uh, attached to the outcome, like we're emotionally invested in the outcome, or are we trying to seek more balance, more harmony in the social interaction, in the professional connections that we have? So I feel like a lot of um, ideas are kind of brewing in the picture for this month, and um, it's kind of like on the periphery of your spread. And I feel like it's really hearkening back to, you know, a, a moment in time where you feel very sure and adamant about advocating for some things. Other people might not be on board. And so you're, you're single handedly pushing things forward. So the energy is indicative of, you know, there is a smart way to do this and it requires getting a team together, uh, delegating responsibilities as well as, convincing other people to get on board mainly because it's going to serve their interests or you can take a more me directed approach where you're singly single-handedly pushing for something and you might not have the buy-in of other people so i feel that you know whichever way that you tend to steer towards that's going to be up to you but i feel that it's strongly indicative that you're going to need other people this month and there will be so much heavy interaction with other people that you want to um, be a little bit more, I, I want to say, close-lipped about what your intentions are, what you're trying to achieve and things like that. Because I, I feel like keeping things a little bit more contained uh, is going to be more beneficial for you further down the line. Okay, so let's just go into your reading here. Um, the first thing that I'm sensing here is... This is a card overall about uh, somebody who is in a position of power and authority, okay? And uh, looking at this card, I usually think of it as, um, I'm not reading this so much as another energy, but more like your energy, where you have long-term goals, you're looking towards the future, and you're trying to build something of extreme value. And because this shows up as a queen, this is somebody with a lot of power of attraction, magnetic, you know, um, like, I, I want to say magnetic sex appeal. And so I feel that, in a way, cultivating the more feminine as aspects, which is, you know, the, the nurturing qualities, the qualities where we can, at the same time, be a good listener, but still very hold very strongly and, and firmly to our beliefs, to our values, and not swaying too much and compromising too much, okay? So this is an energy of somebody who knows what they're doing. They're, they're sure, they're certain, they're confident. And because of that, they have a lot of magnetism that will automatically draw other people to you. And so... 
because of this energy it's somebody who's dabbling in many things it's somebody who has kind of like at the apex of his or her creative peak okay so you might have a lot of projects that you're working on on the creative front and uh, you might have you know met up with a lot of people or get all these things lined up for you and I feel like since uh, the February time frame you might start to realize that some people they make promises you know they're they're promising here's a a, a contract here's a, a an internship here's a work schedule or here's like um, um, an opportunity or speaking engagement so whatever capacity that you're in there have been a lot of things that you're trying to get lined up to prepare for you know your professional life and you might realize that other people are not they're they're falling short on their ability to deliver they're falling short on fulfilling their end of the of the obligation or their end of the contract or they might have drawn contracts in a way where there might have been loopholes there might have been you know uh those fine lines fine prints that kept you locked into a specific contract that was not good for you and so this is the month in which we look over all of those nuances look over all of those contracts and see which ones are kind of exploitative which ones are not working to our favor and who with whom we are linked up with uh, and whether or not they are fulfilling their end of the bargain okay so i i feel like a lot of these um i, I want to say like professional contacts and professional uh, networking opportunities as well as existing projects that you're working on they need to be heavily re-examined and if they're not working if they're in a way that is holding you back or really exploiting your time and your resources and your contributions I feel that you're gonna need to find a way to to get out of it okay and that might mean consulting somebody who has legal expertise they might advise you that, oh, it's a binding contract and you can't really, you know, get out of it. But I do feel overall that you're going to need to consult some type of a specialist in order to sort things out on the work front. What I'm also feeling as well is um, for some of you, there is a specific line of work that you're doing. So whatever capacity in which you're working, I feel like some of you are feeling a little bit trapped and a, a little bit like um, constrained by the time associated with you know the the time that you need in order to get the things done so I feel like there are time crunches time constraints happening across the board for many of you for this month and on top of that on, on top of you know the professional life and the responsibilities there's also the personal aspect a lot of you might be in a position where you're relocating you're moving from one place to the the next and um, I feel that this is a, a card majorly about you know picking up all the pieces and then moving forward okay moving to a different geographical location for example moving to a different house different place of residence or just um, uh, bringing everything with you to have a consultant look at them so I like a consultant or a legal counselor or a legal counsel look at them so I feel like there's a lot happening in your personal life as well where there it denotes to me like a major change a major shift and um, what I feel is your state of mind you start out this month in a very very optimistic light and there will be you know a little bit of snags along the way waiting on decisions for other people not knowing when we have the green light to move ahead and moving ahead in a manner where you might encounter opposition you might not encounter you know the right support or people who have been ones were supportive are now withdrawing their support so I feel that you have a lot of things to push forward um, in the later part of the month and that you might not anticipate okay so because coming out early in the month we have here this is uh, your card this is your representation as the king of swords and the king of swords is somebody who is an expert analyzer this is somebody who kind of like um, when I think of this I usually think about you know like the energy of a lawyer 
someone who is really well versed in rules, regulations, procedures, they automatically, they have this, um, this very objective way of looking at problems. They're great at problem solving. They're great at um, analyzing things from different sides of the story. And they are also well versed into taking every little piece or every little perspective into account. When it shows up in the reverse position, one of the things they want you to be um, a little bit careful about is um, kind of like, I, I want to say confirmation bias, okay? It's sort, of, it's sort of like ideologically, you believe in one thing. You believe in like a, a specific cause, specific course of action, and you're like, that is the best course of action. And I feel that there might have been people around you that might have told you this, this is the best course of action. Or emotionally, you are very um, tied in strongly to your ideologies. So you believe this is the best course of action. And so you single-handedly, you go out into the world and you look for things that confirm that belief. Rather than hearing, you know, like a, a different narrative or rather than keeping yourself... A lot more open-minded and analytical about maybe there's a, a better way to do this or maybe there's a smarter way or, or a different way or maybe my belief is wrong so I feel like there's a little bit of a tunnel vision and a little bit of a confirmation bias coming through where you're single-handedly pushing for something along because you believe it is right and you might be you know in the process of being so directed in it you might not be open to other possibilities. So there's a smart way to do this or there's a hard way. And so they're really asking you to reassess what it is you're trying to achieve and whether or not there is an alternative. There is a better way to do something so that it's not laborious, so that it's not so um, difficult, okay? So a little bit more thinking outside the box, creative thinking, I feel, is going to change this situation okay once again this is somebody who's very confident very secure um with his or her station with his or her capabilities and their ability to lead as well and their ability to see both sides of the story so that when they lead they know how to get people motivated to do whatever is necessary that's for the the greater good of everybody involved and on top of that, coming in towards the end of this month, we have you showing up here as the Knight of Swords in the reverse position. So I feel like you are pushing for something. And then towards the end of the month, there might be a little bit of a snag along the way that can really limit your mobility, that can really limit your the momentum that you're hoping for to push things forward. But the process of slowing down basically means that rather than rushing into a situation and um, I guess like uh, without a strategy, I feel that you're going to be a lot more systematic, a lot more calm and a lot more um, willing to take stock and look, really look at what are my options now? What are some of the things that are no longer working? And what do I do to move things forward now, given, you know, the, the, the new information that came to light or the people that have really backed out? They say they're going to do one thing and then they back out and, and now I'm left with this. So taking stock of what you have and thinking really deeply about the direction that you're trying to go, the place that you're trying to go or the location that you're trying to go to. And then, you know, re revisiting, redoing, redrawing your strategy. So I feel towards the end of the month, it might be a little bit challenging because it's um it's kind of forcing you to change direction, okay? There is definitely something that comes in at the beginning where you're very sure. You, you feel like, I'm going to get a specific outcome. And I feel that you get that specific outcome. But in the process then of implementing those goals and those ideas, there might be snags and resistance along the way. There might be people backing out. They promise one thing and then they end up, you know, not delivering or they end up like uh, flicking out the last minute and i feel then it requires you to change your priorities to shift gear into something else or to change your course altogether okay so it's going to be um a busy month there's a lot happening in your life right now and when we are constantly on the go on the move and especially for you as an air sign um it might really distort 
or hinder your judgment okay so whenever you feel frazzled whenever you feel stuck whenever you feel like um you're you're being met with resistance okay the the smart thing to do i feel for this month is not to doggedly push forward but kind of slow down a little bit and take stock and figure out you know why am i facing the resistance why is this people not on board or are these people not on board and um honestly taking it from a you know don't take things personally but taking it from a more analytical perspective you know rather than saying oh that person never liked me in the first place i feel it might be better if you think of it as maybe they have other obligations and i feel like that's what's happening um it's not personal i feel like other people that might have been on board before circumstances changed for them they might be dealing with some loss some revenue loss, some other sponsorship loss, for example, some other major restructuring in their own life, in their own family, in their own professional life, where whatever they promised, they can no longer deliver. And I feel like, um, I feel like the, the best thing to do is, you know, to also understand that people have their, their own things that they're dealing with. So they might not be backing out because of any personal reason against you because they're very much in alignment with you and they're very much on board, but they might have other circumstances that they need to attend to right now and they can no longer, you know, the situations change, okay? So being a lot more flexible, being a lot more, um, I feel like the second two weeks, the last two weeks of the month, slowing down a little bit, taking stock and figuring out, like possibly changing direction altogether, okay? So Gemini's, I hope that is helpful for you guys. Um, let me see what is in store for you for love and relationships, okay? We've got a lot of people in new relationships, I think. A lot of people in new relationships, a lot of people who are already, um, who have somebody in mind. And so let me just go over the spread here with you. Um, I feel like one of the overwhelming message here is, um, dating life is going to be very uh, abundant and it's going to be um, quite rewarding overall, okay? So I, I do have a, a, a big singles vibe or at least single people who are dating and have multiple options to choose from. So you're still in the preliminary stages where you're trying to, you know, get to know another person or trying to figure out where things are headed. And then I also have people in stable relationships as well who are dealing with a little bit of strife, but it's going to balance itself out towards the end of the month, okay? So let me just talk about this. First of all, we have here the Three of Wands, and we have here the Nine of Cups. The Three of Wands, this is kind of like, you know, that energy about waiting for your ship to come in, waiting for somebody to come see you, waiting for somebody or for opportunities to travel so that you can come see them. I usually think of it as something a little bit more long distant, or at least, you know, you're, you're waiting on something so that the two of you can meet up, the two of you can interact, the two of you can get to know each other. So I feel like you might be in a long distance relationship and uh, you're waiting for messages from the other person or waiting for an opportunity to travel to see them or them to see you. And then for others, I feel like, you know, um, you might be talking to them like uh, via text and then you're waiting for opportunities to meet up. This has shown up in the past and it feels almost as if your wishes have been fulfilled. There's gifts, communication, flowers, you know, like, um, there's somebody that is showering a lot of love and affection on you and there's somebody that you're getting to know. So this is usually a card about somebody who treats us really well, makes us feel really good and they know how to they know how to spoil you and they know how to pamper you. So we have some really good things here. Which brings us to the present moment. We have here the page of swords and the hanged man. And the page of swords, I'm going to read this as your energy. Basically, it, it means that there's a lot of communication and the hangman is sort of like, you know, um, a little bit of a stall in communication, a little bit of stalled messages. So it might have right itself out, you know, like back in the May time frame. And now there's still a little bit of snags along the way for you to be able to communicate with another person. So you might have finalized some plan, but you're going to be waiting a little bit for this um 
for this month in order to implement those plans. So like travel plans, travel arrangement, when do we meet, how do we meet, where do we meet, and things like that. Um, likewise, if you are involved here with an air sign, so an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, a sun, moon, or rising, um, I feel as if this person might have a few other options on the table okay so if you're dealing with this person and you have just started dating and you're trying to figure out like you know we really hit it off but they haven't really contacted me so what's the problem i feel like they're waiting for something in their life to end or they are dating multiple people and they're trying to decide the best option for them before they you know so it's kind of like a, a little bit of a fear of commitment. They want to make sure they um, they want to make sure they they go through the whole process of elimination before they can commit to one person. Okay, so it's not like there's deceit or anything like that. I just feel like it's a period of waiting before things will really pick up again. So the foundation is something you already come into the month with the knowledge of. We have here the six of cups. And this is kind of like um, having a a very faded, a very soulful connection with another person. So I feel like some of you have recently met somebody that you absolutely adore, that you absolutely are, I want to say even madly in love with, or at least if you don't know them well enough, you're still very smitten and enamored by this person. And you feel almost like it's a serendipitous, almost like a faded connection. It's linked up here with the fool and the fool is when we meet somebody who has the same ideologies who we can talk to and who makes us feel very complete on a soul on an emotional level it um, it makes us feel very light with this fool energy it makes us feel very at ease very positive very optimistic and we feel almost as if this is the person that we want to embark on the next journey of our life with. So I feel like you have somebody here that you're absolutely just um, taken back by and, and take like swept off your feet by. Okay. And so I feel like some of you, you might have started dating and you're meeting somebody, possibly another air sign here that really sweeps you off your feet. Okay. Crowning this reading is something that you're thinking about. We have here the sun, which is overall career success. And I feel almost as if um, a lot of you, work is going really well. Work is going tremendously well. And you might be putting in um, extra time at work. You might be up for a promotion, for example, in your work environment. The work promotion might take you to a different geographical location and you're not really sure whether or not you want to go ahead with it. And at the same time, this card here, the Two of Pentacles, urges you to really balance out your work and your professional life, or I'm sorry, your professional life and your personal life, so that um, you know how to separate the two. So I feel like some of you, work is really picking up. Do not let that interfere with your personal life and your romantic life, because I feel some of you, might be going on a date and you want to be emotionally invested with your date, right? You want to hear what they have to say. You want to really get to know them. And I see the phone ringing all the time and I see you checking your email. So be very careful about separating, you know, your personal life from your work life. And at the same time, I feel like some of you might be slated for a major move, major relocation. And as a result, you're not sure, do I move because this relationship is going so well or do I stay in this relationship and risk my career? So there's major opportunity costs associated with both of these cards, but they're not saying that any decision is a bad decision. They're just saying that um, you want to really, you know, keep yourself solid here about your goals, professional goals and aspirations, and don't lose sight of that, okay? So moving forward into the future, we have here the Nine of Wands the Seven of Swords, and the Emperor. I feel like some of you have been through, this is a card about being through the ringer, okay? This is somebody that has had their heart broken many, many times in the past. And I feel like you're either dealing with this person or you are this person. And um, what I feel is if you are this person, you've matured all the, you're taking all the lessons from the past, 
you know, this there's this tree here and tree usually indicates some type of a spiritual growth, some type of like a karmic lesson that needed to happen at, you know, a specific time in our life so that we can learn. And I feel that in the process of uh, being hurt in the past, being disappointed, you have kind of closed yourself off from love. You might have had a lot of people that were, you know, all over you, like that really wanted to be with you and they really wanted to, um, to date you, but you close yourself off. Okay. So you, while you have a lot of attention, positive reception and positive suitors and positive, you know, uh, attention, I feel like you've closed yourself off. And this is the month in which you will emerge from this beginning to let your heart open up and connect to another person. And, uh, I, I, I don't feel like it has so much to do with the timing, but I feel it has to do with the person. Because what happened in the past was, I honestly feel that some of you, you were in a relationship where two people, both parties were at fault. Where you were too young to handle the energy of the other person. Where you, um, you might not have compromised with the other person. Or I feel... And this is not going to apply to all. I feel like somebody taking somebody for granted. You know, I feel somebody provoking, um, provoking like, you know, little disputes, arguments and things like that to, to create that sense of excitement in the relationship. So the relationship was full of excitement, but it wasn't very stable or, or like there were, you know, um, there were situations that flare up and that created uh, problems, but it also brought about excitement. So it was a relationship that was very topsy-turvy and uh, it didn't need to be that way, but you both were not emotionally mature enough to handle it. And in the past, you might have been like, oh, it was them. It was all them. And they might have said, oh, it was all the Gemini's fault. It was all the Gemini's fault. But I feel that you come to the realization that, you know what? We were just both too young to handle that relationship. And that's why it didn't work. And that's why it um, it ended in a very poor manner. And that's why there was, you know, just a lot of hurt feelings. And that's why you can't really reconcile. And so moving forward, you are with somebody who is a lot more honest, a lot more directed, a lot more communicative. Because I feel a lot of you, you need your partner to, to, to express to you verbally what they want, what they don't like. You appreciate the, the constant feedback. And you know, some signs, and um, I feel like this is specifically with Scorpio, uh, specifically with um, Capricorns, Scorpio, Capricorns, and I also feel um, Cancers. Some signs are, are just, they don't want to have a constant discussion about everything. They want yes or no, and then they, if it's yes, they move on. If it's no, then, you know, they, they take they take, you know, adequate, like an adequate course of action. They don't want everything to be a discussion. But I feel that many of you, you need that constant feedback from your partner. Like, what do you like? What do you want me to do? What should I do? What do I do that you don't like? You should tell me. Because I feel like you're very verbally communicative. But the people that you might have in, uh, interacted with, they're very self-contained. And that means they're very stoic. And that also means they might not be very as uh, emotionally or as verbally communicative or expressive as you are. And it created a lot of misunderstanding in the relationship. So moving forward, we have here the emperor. And this is somebody that is very mature. They know how to make good decisions. And um, they don't withhold affection to punish you. I feel like they don't withhold affection at all. So, you know, they're they're willing to problem solve. They're willing to tr troubleshoot to make sure a relationship works, okay? So I'm sensing that some of you might be um, dealing with a fire sign. So this is a Sagittarius and Aries or Leo, sun, moon, or rising. And uh, this is somebody that, so it could be an air sign or a fire sign, but I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is very emotionally mature who has been through the ringer, so they're not really, you know, they, they don't really put up with little games, okay? They don't really want to, um, they're not a jealous person. And when things get too difficult, they're not looking for drama and instability. They, they, they want true compatibility, okay? 
Um, and I feel like some of you are in a position where you are possibly relocating to be with somebody that you really care about. So this is like a major, major move happening for you. And I feel some of you might have done it in the past. And because you did it in the past, there might have been some disappointment associated with that years ago. And you're taking this next venture, trying not to recreate that environment that ended poorly in the past. So I feel like a lot of maturation, a lot of growth is happening for you all, okay? And then I feel like some of you are uh, dealing with somebody who is dating multiple people and they're still trying to decide. They're, they're going through the process of elimination. They're still trying to decide, you know, they're still trying to test the waters with you. And they're still trying to figure out whether or not you're the right fit for them, okay? So it's nothing personal. It's just whether or not you're, you're the right fit. But there is going to be solidification when it comes to relationships overall or getting, you know, adequate feedback about, you know, uh, the potential of a new lover or a new relationship or a new dating prospect, okay? So I wish you the best, Geminis. Best of luck. And it is also your birthday time, too. So I feel like you are going to be in high demand in the social, in the romantic sphere, okay? Take care of yourself, okay? I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.